Steve Lawson recently preached at Grace Community Church and he felt due to the circumstances of the attempted Trump assassination that he needed to change the topic of his sermon. And of course, he was filling in for John MacArthur, whom we know now is undergoing some sort of surgery. And he claimed because of this event of the Trump attempted Trump assassination and the surgery of John MacArthur, he decided to change his sermon and preach from Job 14. And specifically, he focused on Job 14, verse 5, where it speaks about the days of a person being in the hands of the Lord. So I feel my heart very strongly pulled, and I'm not a mystical person, but I feel very strongly about preaching a different text today uh, based upon even some circumstances that have taken place recently. So I invite you to take your Bible and turn with me to the book of Job, Job chapter 14. In these verses, Job states how short-lived human life is. And we see here that its length of days and its length of months remains in the hands of God, that no one will live beyond the allotted time that God has assigned for that person. We are to give ourselves to medical care. We are to use wisdom and discretion. But the fact of the matter is that God, by His own sovereign will, has set the boundaries for our lives. He has set the day of our birth, and He has set the day of our death, and He has numbered every one of our days in between, and we will not live one day less nor one day more. And this truth is especially important to us today for several reasons. And number one, as I woke up this morning and saw on social media what many of you saw, the, the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump, and how that bullet that was aimed for the temple of his head just grazed past his ear, and all that was done was simply to bring a, a flesh wound and the only explanation for this is it was, it simply was not His time. That God has ordained the number of days and the number of months that He was live, to live, and that was not that day. The second reason that I'm drawn to these verses and others is the pastor of this church, John MacArthur. He was now 85 years old, and will have a procedure this, this week. And we need to be reminded and comforted by the fact that his life is in the hands of a sovereign God, and that his days have been determined by God from before the foundation of the world, and God will preserve him, and God will sustain him until that day comes. And this says something to each and every one of us here today, that God has appointed the number of days that you will have to live here upon this earth, that there's a reason why you're here, and He has foreordained your steps before you were born, and He has foreordained good works for you to perform, and He has given to you an allotted number of days. And you and I do not know what is that number of days, and we do not know when the end of our life will come, but God knows because God has foreordained it. And it would be good for us today to remember this fact that God is sovereign over life and death. God is sovereign over time and eternity. God is sovereign over the affairs of our lives and that we will not exceed the number of days that he has allotted to us. Now, after the Trump assassination, there were several preachers or self-proclaimed YouTube prophets or social media prophets that were claiming that if your pastor didn't speak about, preach on the attempted assassination of Trump, you need to leave that church. And I find such assumptions, such declarations to be a little bit offhand because you would have to indicate 
that a church that doesn't comment on attempted assassinations, that makes them a bad church, according to scripture. Sometimes people get a little bit excited about their politics and their opinions that they think they are scripture. But Steve, uh, Steve Lawson's points are absolutely bang on. God is a sovereign God who rules not over all the universe, but over our lives. And I think of the great Psalms. Psalm 93 verse 1, the Lord reigns. Psalm 96 verse 10, the Lord reigns. Psalm 97 verse 1, the Lord reigns. And Psalm 99 verse 1, the Lord reigns. And those of you who know anything about Reformed theology, of course, know R.C. Sproul and his famous quote, there's not a single rogue molecule uh, in all the universe. Let's give him a lesson. If God is God, then he is sovereign. And if he is sovereign, there are no maverick molecules. And no maverick molecules, no accidents. Nothing happens by chance. The sovereignty of God extends to everyone's life, to all things, to all molecules. God is a sovereign God, and he's sovereign over our time, over our days on the earth. I think, think of Psalm 31, verse 15. David says that his times are in the hand of God. His every day is in the hand of Almighty God. I also think of what Jesus says in Acts 1-7. Jesus claims that times and seasons are set by his Father. We know this because God is a sovereign God. With regards to the attempted assassination of Donald Trump, it had to be a miraculous event. Maybe you haven't seen it, but probably most of you had of the computer assimilation of what would have happened if his head would have turned just a little. This was made by point consciousness. A computer generated 3D visualization made by social media account Point Consciousness shows a bird's eye view of the bullet skimming Donald Trump's ear right after the former president moved his head. The 3D graphic also shows the path the bullet would have taken if Trump did not tilt his head at the last second. And even Donald Trump's own words declare this. He's here by the grace of the Almighty God. And I'll tell you, I stand before you in this arena only by the grace of Almighty God. I hope and pray that this event humbles Donald Trump's heart, that he trusts in the Lord alone for his salvation, and that he would have the joy of the Lord. And as a Christian, this is very practically applied to our hearts and lives, because our times are in the Lord's hands, we need to rest in the Lord. We need to have our peace and joy in the Lord in what Christ has done for us. If you're in Christ, you have the joy and the hope of the resurrection, and therefore you can find contentment in the plans and the times and seasons that the Lord has ordained for us. As well, we need to be joyful in the Lord because our times are in the hands of the Almighty God. And we need to be content in the Lord because our times are in the hands of Almighty God. Thanks for watching and God bless.